and a very happy Thursday to you today. I hope your day is getting off to a great start. Today I have a really fun and simple embossing powder technique to share with you and it's a great way to create a really fun kind of abstract background. So you can see here on my card if I tilt this, probably especially up in this area here, you can really see the shine of that embossing powder and that really fun pattern effect that I was able to get. And this is actually due to water splotches. So I'm gonna share that process with you. It's a really easy technique to do and it gives you a completely different look every time. So the embossing powders I'm working with, of course, from Wow Embossing, and this is the See You at the Beach collection. And I'm using the Sea Turtle, that really pretty green. I'm able to create a nice tone on tone effect because I'm also using green acrylic paint and just brayering that onto the background. And this is slimed. This is the Fresco Finish Chalk Acrylic from Paper Artsy. This is one of my very favorite colors. I'm also using a stamp set from Paper Artsy and this is the ESN 34 collection and you can see we're using this design right here. And I'll talk a little bit more about what I've done with this when we get into that portion because I'm also using an embossing pen to do some highlighting on there. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that too. So I'm gonna stand up and tilt you down and we'll get into the embossing process. So hang in there with me while I tilt this down. And there we go, you can see my work surface. Oops, and some other stuff in the background. Sorry about that, it's still a little bit messy around here in my studio. Okay, so again, another quick look at the card project and you can see those big, beautiful blotches of embossing on the background. Um, first, I wanna talk a little bit about the brayering process and then we'll get into the embossing. So I'm gonna bring in a piece of smooth white cardstock and then I've also got my paint and I have my brayer. Now this is a favorite technique of mine and I'm sure you guys have seen me do this lots of times, but I do get a lot of questions about it. So I'm gonna share this quick and easy process with you. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the paint on my craft sheet. You don't need to have a whole lot, just a little bit will do the trick. And then I'm going to roll my brayer out. Now the brayer is from Paper Artsy and I love this brayer, it's got a nice, wide roller bit here. It's nice sturdy rubber and it just works perfectly. So I'm going to run this on here. You can do as much or as little as you want. I like to leave a little bit of that white showing on there because then I've also got another layer if you will. So I've got the white and then I've got that beautiful green right on top. Now the paint itself as you can see is translucent which means that it's not going to give a really opaque finish to my cardstock, which is exactly what I want. So I'm in a really good um, place to start my background here. And then to clean off my brayer, you just need to rinse it off or use a baby wipe um, or some uh, water and you are good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up off of here and then I just need to let this dry before I move on to the next step. And now the paint's not on there really thick, so I could actually give it a minute or two to dry and then move on to the next step. But I've got a piece that's already dry, ready to go. And then I can do my next step. So for this, I need to have my embossing powder ready to hand. As with most embossing techniques, you do want to have everything sort of ready to go so that you don't lose any time, any dry time. Got a piece of scrap paper folded in half. That's going to catch my excess powder and I also need to have my water mister. Now, what I'm going to do is splatter some water onto my piece of cardstock. Normally, what you might think to do is just mist the water on here, but we don't want to do that. That's gonna to give too fine of a spray. So instead, what I'm going to do is spray some water into my hand and sort of flick it on. Now, I know it's really hard to see that, but once I get my um, embossing powder on here, you'll see where this is sticking. So again, working pretty quickly. I'm just going to add my embossing powder right on here. And the water is going to act almost as an embossing ink. So normally you would use an embossing ink to do your embossing powder, but in this case, it's sticking on there with the help of that water, which is pretty cool. So again, I'll want to work pretty quickly with this in order to get that um, embossing powder all melted before 
everything dries. I'm gonna funnel this back into my jar and set that aside. Now, I know it's not exactly exciting to watch somebody do some heat embossing, but so what I'll, I'll do is just talk you through the process. Rather than coming in from the front like you might normally think to do with your heat tool, I always start this by doing the heat embossing from the back of the cardstock. So I'll let this sort of start the melting process and then come and finish it off in the front. So then that way I'm reducing the risk of some of this just blowing off, the excess kind of blowing off. And then what I'll have is a piece that looks like this. So you can see you're gonna get a different look every single time just depending on how the water lands and if you use a lot or a little. In this area up here, you can see I've got some really fine spatters and then I've got some bigger blotches here. It does take a little bit longer with the heat setting process, of course, because you're working from underneath and then finishing off from the top, but I think the result is really worth it. I think it's such a cool effect. So that's how to create the background. Now, again, with the stamped image that you can see on here, I'll hold it up pretty close because I've got some detail work on those leaves and then I've also got some embossing going on in the dot area here too. And I'll tilt this so you can see that I've stamped it twice, cut out the center piece and then pop that up onto some foam tape. So in this case here, I've just used my embossing pen and this is the WOW embossing pen. After I stamped this and made sure that the ink was totally dry, I just did quick little accent pieces with the embossing pen and also use that same sea turtle. Now the stamp itself, as you can see, has some little dot accents that are on here. It doesn't mean that you can't add your own dots though. So that's what I've done around this outside area. You can see here I've got some dots of, again, that's that sea turtle embossing powder. So I've accented the leaves and then added in some extra dots and a little bit of watery slimed paint just to accent um, the focal element and also just to spatter around on the outside edge here. And then just simply cut this into an oval and mounted that up onto a second oval cut from black cardstock. I've got a strip of black cardstock going across the front and a little bow done in baker's twine. Pretty quick and pretty easy. It's a really fun technique to do and I, I love how it can really give you a nice tone on tone effect. I think this would also be beautiful with just about any color of acrylic paint and then maybe a gold or a silver embossing powder on there as well. So it's a great technique that has a lot of versatility to it and I think you can create lots of really fun borders and uh, backgrounds and all kinds of pieces for your handmade cards. So that's how you can do a water spatter embossing technique. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch up with you again next week. I hope you have a great rest of the day and a fabulous weekend. Take care, bye-bye.